Hi, this is Dhirendra. In this video, we are going to have an understanding of five, six logical reasons why Modi will be going for elections in 2023 and rather than waiting for the summers of 2024. So let's begin the video and try to understand what are those five, six reasons which will be the catalyst for Modi to take a call. One of the first reason is like when we uh, try to understand what is the age of Modi. So Modi age is around 73. So a uh, old man of 73 years of age has to campaign to a country as big as India to go to different parts of India and to do different rallies is a huge task when it is done in the summers of 2024. The meteorological department has projected that the summers will be much more harsher and there will be heat wave which will be running and during that period of time. So one thing which will be at the back of mind of Modi is to take care of not only the campaign as but also look at his health and then do the campaign because he is the one celebrity campaigner for his party. If his health takes a hit, chances of Modi's campaign or so-called BJP campaign is going to take a hit. So nobody wants to take that risk and Modi obviously knows of it. So that is one reason. The second reason is the middle class, if you see that the majority of middle class votes for Modi and if those people are given the such situations wherein they are opting to go to hill stations rather than voting for Modi, then it will further reduce the vote of Modi and in the heat wave middle class people are like more comfortable prone. So they won't be coming out and then voting in huge numbers as compared to a situation where, where they, it is winters and they are given the chance to vote for Modi so they will more happily go out and then vote for Modi that is the second reason the third reason is that he, Modi will do it well if he surprises the opposition right now opposition is still in the talking stage where there are not much of coalition has been formed or not much of uh, collaborations has been done so when you announce it so it will help you to tackle your opponent to manage your opponent by surprising them with the sudden onset of elections once you are uh, once you announce as early elections then there will be a surprise element involved in in that and say like there is a probable uh, yatra of rahul gandhi which is going to come out so will that come out will he be able to do that so even if say he is able to influence one to two percent of the voters that will be curtailed and then one to two percent in the current times matters most because in these days there is a, some aspect of swing voters so once like these parties opposition parties are going to collaborate unite and that one two percent swing voters are going to go in favor of say congress then it is going to impact the overall result so modi doesn't want to give such options to his opposition parties primarily his prime opposition party congress also if you see that there recently there has been a announcement by rbi about collection of 2000 rupees depositing the 2000 rupees although they have said that it will be a legal tender even after september but the whole idea is to take back all those money 2000 notes back to the system so in this way whatever black money whichever is there with the parties and these parties are not run because just because of the funds received in their accounts by 20,000 checks because there are majority chunks which will come in below 20,000 wherein you don't have to reveal your PAN number wherein the parties don't have to reveal the sources of income or don't have to note the sources of donations so in this way majority of the parties run on the concept of cash and these cash when kept in those notes of 20,000 then it has to go back to the system if RBI has announced it and in this way there is a way to manage the funds of the opposition opposition parties so that is the third hint which we get from modi's government about why they are planning to hold the early elections the fourth hint or the fourth logical reason why modi need will be doing it if you see that bjp's prime campaign will be cultural nationalism so there will be emphasis on the culture so we will at those times when it is done there will be ram mandir being built up so they will be able to capitalize on the so called cultural sentiments of the hindus which is 80% of the population and hence in this way they will be able to propel the feelings or sentiments towards bjp second reason is about nationalism wherein if you see that g20 event is being managed is being forecasted is being projected as something which is of unique importance of very high importance not only for 
Indian state but for BJP as well so if you are in the metro you will be able to see that it's promotion advertisement in different forms where in G20 pamphlet placards you will see posters you will see it on the railways so the whole strategy of BJP and the government is to ensure that they bank upon whatever they are advertising so they are advertising that we are the best in the world we are able to host the best nations in the world we are able to be the leaders among those top 20 countries of the world and hence we are doing well in the, at the world platform level rather than being uh, mediocre as like in the past. You, you will see Modi government constantly saying that we are the fifth largest economy, we are going to beat France or we are going to be third largest economy, we are going to be five trillion economy. All these are drum beating about how we are doing well in the world map and hence our whole situation has improved as compared to the past years. That has been the whole narration, narrative which is being built by Modi and his government. So G20 will give the photo opportunity G20 will give a boost for Modi's government and Modi to be the host and to be the world leader, to be the first among equals or something of that sort. So that will actually propel his voters and those fan sitters who are thinking about whether to vote or not. So that way it is going to help overall improve the image of the government and hence will be making a case for government re-election. And once it is elections are done, on a, on a short notice of the whole event being done say in September G20 is happening so if elections happen in around November or October then it will favor Modi that is the another logical reason which makes a case to have early elections to give a memory wherein the memories of these G20 event are fresh in the minds of the voters also if you see uh, in the recent past you will see that Amit Shah and uh, BJP chief JP Nadda are holding different meetings in different states. They are trying to form alliances. Say they have been talking to Akali Dal in Punjab or they have been talking to TDP in Andhra Pradesh. So that way they are going to have alliances which are finally going to increase their numbers as they will be having certain losses in states like Bihar, Maharashtra. Fifth hint which makes it logical for us to believe that elections might be nearer than the publicly announced dates of 2024 is the number of meetings these people, the BJP leaders like Amit Shah and JP Nadar having with different parties and among their own cadres you will see that they are having high level meetings with different general secretaries, national secretaries of different states and in Delhi and in different elections so they are gearing up wherein they are having that tif tiffin pe charcha or something of that sort so they are trying to galvanize their whole party workers so that only gives a hint that they are trying to prepare the whole party in order to be ready for the coming May 2023 so the preparedness or the so-called number of meetings being conducted by different party different BJP heads is a reflection is a symbol or is a sign that they are preparing for the one more bigger battle rather than only the elections. There have been reports in the media on, on different news channels that the different departments of the government have been told to spend their budget allocation to different programs so as to complete the projects or so as to advance the completion time so as to show the work done by the Modi government to the people so they will be able to give a report card of what they have done if the if these budgets are exhausted before time and in this way they will be able to showcase oh, their good wings their good deeds among the public and that thus win the confidence of the people so the basic agenda or the basic communication that modi government is good at delivering projects the modi government works on time completes projects on time and in this way they will be able to reach out to those aspiring classes or in the middle class or those aspiring class who are in the lower middle class and to vote for modi in the coming times the sixth reason for Early elections is about elections in the coming three states of Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh or for that matter Chhattisgarh. All these states if you see uh, there is a lack of local leaderships or there is anti-incumbency against the states in say in Madhya Pradesh wherein there is an infighting between in members of uh, party in BJP and there is an anti-incumbency of almost 18 years of Sivraj Singh. So the chances that they will come back are slightly less and if Modi does that election, if Modi does that 
general elections along with the state election the chances that they will be able to get that modi capital in the, the voters who vote in the name of modi will be much higher as compared to state alone or stand alone local leadership of the state similar is the case in chatisgarh and in rajasthan when there is in fighting between different top officials of the bjp vasundhara raje being one of the pillars of bjp and the other aspiring leaders in the state trip state leadership if you see that there these are five six reasons which makes it logical for modi to take a call or which makes it a logical sense for modi to take a call on early elections rather than waiting for the heat of 2024 in may 2024 hope this video has been informative this hope this video has been logical enough to satisfy those five six reasons why modi would do the elections in the end of 2024 the world of politics is dynamic so the whole analysis may be totally wrong after one month or say when the whole new event comes up but as on now it looks this is the logical reason